Hey everyone, it's Blue Wing, and today we're back in the shop to show you how to rig up a bridle using heavy duty swivels, double snap swivels, hollow core, and our hollow spectra threading loop splicing needle kit. Specifically the number four loop kit we'll be using today. So the finished product is gonna look just like this. Two heavy duty swivels, with the hollow core line in between. It's gonna get hooked onto our planer and two double snap swivels. Start by cutting off about 36 inches of hollow core line and marking exactly on either end like that where, where you want the heavy duty swivel to be. It should be about 18 to 24 inches depending on what size planer you're pulling. Today we're rigging one up for a size four so it's roughly 18 inches. Once you have that mark there with a Sharpie, go ahead and get your loop needle out and push it into the center of the hollow core. Helps to give it a little bit of a spin while you push and it should slide right in. You'll go about half way down the needle's length or so. Just go ahead and poke it right back out Leave that there. Bring it all the way up to the top of the loop and grab one of your extra small, I'm sorry, triple extra small wind on swivels. We do make them in four extra small, um, medium, large, XL, all those sizes, but today we're gonna be using a three X extra small uh, just cause it's heavy duty, but still will allow you to fit through your rod guides. So once you have the heavy duty swivel on there, go ahead and pinch a tag end like that around the loop and start to bunch down the hollow core towards the loop. Go ahead and pull it through and it's gonna pull that tag all the way through until it comes out the other end the hole we made earlier. You'll be left with the wind on swivel and a loop here. You can shorten the tag and it'll, it'll make that loop smaller on the end. Go ahead and pinch the swivel and the hollow core and just pull that down so that it's straight. Now to finish that off, what we're gonna do here is poke a new hole underneath the tag end, as close as you can get it, going further down the hollow core line. Run the needle about as long as that tag end is. So that tag is gonna be about an inch, a little over an inch. I'm gonna run it that, that length and poke it right back out. You just wanna go slightly longer than the tag end is. So it should look like that. Get the needle and loop ready there. Put that tag through the loop. Give it a pinch just like you did earlier. And just bunch it down the loop and run it through just like that. Now what you're going to do is go back to holding the heavy duty wind on swivel and just do that same pulling motion and it'll straighten out just like that. The tag end of the hollow core is now inside the main line and you've got one continuous piece of hollow core going to that wind on swivel. Same thing going on with the other end. There's no tags, no knots. And with one final Gorilla Glue, you just need a tiny bit on your finger. Find that, that tag end there. It's 
about five or six inches down the away from the heavy duty swivel and just dab some of that glue on there and then rub it in with your fingers kind of push it into the hollow core braid what that's going to do is going to hold the tag end in place so that this hollow core splice will never come undone no matter how hard you pull on it it won't loosen up so that's one completed bridle what you're going to do once you have the bridle ready in order to get this on your planer you're going to use a double snap swivel what we do is uh, we have one of the sides here cut with a bolt cutter it'll look just like that Go ahead and hook that right into the hollow core side of the wind on swivel. There you go. Do the same on the other side. So the finished setup is going to have the bridle connected at either end of the swivels and you're going to run the planer with the weight end towards your rod and reel. You'll tie your uh, braid or mono that come, is coming from your reel onto that end of the planer. And then you'll tie your fluorocarbon or mono filament leader to this end of the heavy duty swivel. And while the planer is connected to the bridle, it's going to pull down and uh, essentially bring your bait down into the water deeper to where the wahoo and, and other fish are hanging out. Once you get the planer reeled back to your boat, this makes it really easy to simply unhook the double snap swivels from your bridle, which leaves you with just the bridle connected to your, your rod and reel and the other end connected to your leader. And with the size of these uh, three extra small swivels. This will allow you to run them through your rod guides and continue reeling in your fish all the way up to the boat so you're not having to hand line the rest of the leader in. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.